Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to include blog posts on the front page of your WordPress website. So as you can see, I am currently looking at the word, the front page of my WordPress website and it is a basic WordPress theme that I've developed from scratch. However, this should work on any WordPress theme as long as you have access to the code. Now first thing you want to do is go into your code editor and find the template which is working for your front page. In this case, front page, front dash page.php is my template. So as you can see, if I go and type in posts under here, it should come up there. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to query the WordPress database and ask WordPress to display the posts on our front page. Now to do that, we firstly want to create an argument. So we'll open up our PHP tags and do a I create a variable called ARGS, stands for arguments, but you don't need to use that if you don't want to, you can call it whatever you'd like. And we'll just assign a blank array right now. And that is basically uh, something that we're going to fill out after once we get the loop sorted. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create another variable and we're going to call it uh, underscore posts. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it underscore posts because I don't want it to conflict with anything else. And then we'll do equals new WP query. And within the WP query, which is a class, a WordPress class, we want to inject the arguments that we specify. And as mentioned before, there, we have no arguments yet. Arguments are pretty much like settings for our, uh, for our query. So we can tell it how many pages, how many posts we want or what category the posts need to be in and all that sort of stuff. So now that we've got that set up, let's create the if statement. The if statement is going to firstly check that there are posts. So we'll do if uh, posts have posts. So if there are posts, and we'll close off the end if statement. And within the if statement, again, sorry, we will do PHP while. And PHP while is a loop. So it's going to loop through every single post there is. And then it's going to display the content for each post respectively. Okay, so we'll do PHP while, and that's our posts variable, have posts, then give us the post. If there are posts, give us the post data, pretty much. PHP end while. Okay, so that's going to end the loop. Now before the while loop, let's just do some bootstrap classes. We'll just do a row and we'll do div class equals col lg4, which just gives us three columns next to each other. And if we refresh the page, you should see absolutely nothing. And that's because we haven't got anything in here yet. So let's firstly add PHP the title. So this will be the title of each individual post. And then we'll do PHP the excerpt, which is, oops, uh, basically a, 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 su a summary of the content and WordPress automatically cuts it off for you. If we refresh the page, we still don't see anything. So why is that? The reason is because we haven't set up any arguments yet. We need to give some arguments so that it can look for those particular posts. The first thing we want to do is tell it that to find a post type called posts. Oh, sorry, post, as opposed to doing a post type of a page. So we're going to do post and then refresh. And you should see one post comes up, which is called post three. But I'm pretty sure we had more than one post. So if we go and we look, we have three posts, which means that we need to tell it how many posts we want. So if we go comma, and then we do posts per page, and we can make it three. If you save it and you refresh, you should see the, the three posts we have. You can also do something which is minus one. And that basically displays every single post you have. You probably don't want to do that, especially if you've got a lot of posts. 
But if we take it back to three now, and we also want to maybe make this an H4, not an H1, because for SEO standpoint, H1 is only to be used once. Uh, let's do some separations um, from our content and the row of featured blog posts. And uh, we also want to obviously link the post to its page. So around the H4 title, let's do an anchor tag and we will just link it to PHP the permalink. And that's going to link it to the respective post. So post three, if we click on it, it should take us to post three. Post two takes us to post two. So, and that test blog post goes to its page. So it all works. The only other thing I can think of is if we want to have uh, the image as well. So as you can see inside the blog post, it has its own image. So let's display that image on the front page as well. So to do that, what we have to do is we have to do a query or well, just do a, an if statement to check if there is a thumbnail and what it's called is a post thumbnail. So we'll do PHP if has post thumbnail. Or PHP end if as well. And then let's just say yes. So if there is a post thumbnail, it will say yes. All right. Oh, great. They've all got their own thumbnails. So yes will come up for each one. Now let's replace yes with an image, image source equals. Uh, and within the image source, we want to link it to the URL of the thumbnail. So we'll do PHP the post thumbnail URL. And uh, the PHP the post thumbnail URL will then ask us for an argument, which is the size of the image. So obviously, if we go into a specific post, we don't want to display it at that large. And if we look at the size of this image, you'll notice it's 1100 by 550. And that's fine. You can do it if you want, but you might want to make the the image here a bit smaller so it doesn't take as long to load. So what you can do is go into your functions.php and you can create another image size. So let's create one. We'll just call it add image size. And actually I've already got one here, but I'll create another one. We'll just call it um, small image. Okay. And we'll make it yeah, 500 high by 250 wide. And we want it to be cropped so that it automatically crops the image to that specific size. Okay. Now that we have that, we can actually go into our front page and we can just put small image. And then now when you create a new image, it's not going to affect existing images. So you need to regenerate those images. So you can download a plugin. Uh, it's very handy. It's called force regenerate thumbnails. Just go to download that and then you can go to tools and force regenerate thumbnails and then just regenerate them and it's going to regenerate all the thumbnails to all the image sizes you have. Now that that's done, if we go, you should see that we have the three images. You'll notice they're overlapping slightly. Now in because we're using bootstrap, we can give this image a class of image fluid or basically what it means is max width of 100%. And then you can also do maybe uh, a margin bottom of two and maybe give it an alt tag. And the alt tag could be the title of the page as well. If we refresh it, you should see the three boxes now with the images in them and then might want to make the images clickable. So just to do that, we just need to do the anchor tag around the image and make it go to this link here. And that is it. That ends my 10 minute tutorial showing you how to include blog posts on the front page of your website. Good luck. Thank you.